murder, secrets to be uncovered, mysterious objects to be found. I could be talking about our show Something Scary, but I'm actually talking about the hidden object murder mystery game from Wooga, June's Journey. Set in the 1920s, it's a vintage licious adventure. A free to download mobile game where you play as June, an amateur detective investigating the murder of her sister. I really enjoy June's Journey. It scratches my true crime itch as I search for clues while unveiling the murder mystery. Plus, I'm a big fan of hidden object games. It's easy to replay levels for points, and I get a kick out of finding all the objects even quicker the second time around. Join over 30 million fans across the globe and awaken your inner detective with June's Journey. Search for hidden objects and collect clues to solve the mystery. Endless hours of fun with thousands of intricate scenes and new chapters every week. Download June's Journey for free by clicking the link below in the description. June's Journey is available on Android and iOS mobile devices, as well as on PC through Facebook games. Hey, I'm Marquia. Wanna hear something scary? El Chupacabra. A portion of Texan farms raise crops, but it's the ones that house and raise livestock that have to deal with issues of the soul. They learn to understand the true danger and sacrifice that comes with maintaining these livestock farms, often at a deadly cost. The Moreno family farm in Lubbock, Texas, had successfully raised goats and horses for three generations. But many family members had left the ranch to pursue other endeavors. The only remaining Morenos were Gina, the matriarch, and her 20-year-old grandson, Brick. After Brick's parents died in an accident, Gina handled the finances from the main house while Brick supervised the ranch hands. It was a system that worked well until one hot summer night. Brick loved raising and tending to the horses, but he had no use for the goats. For him, they were just an annoyance and they didn't bring in much money, but Gina was insistent. She said that no farm could be without goats and she was particular about keeping the herd at exactly 30 animals. One evening after sunset, as Brick headed back to the house after feeding the horses, he felt something rush past him. It felt like a horse and breath and stride, but the gust of wind in its wake felt larger than a horse. He squinted into the dark, but saw nothing. Again, the shadowy creature ran past, this time much closer and at a speed that blew Brick to the ground. Brick jumped to his feet and began sprinting. He could feel the animal getting closer behind him, its breath on his neck as he leapt up the front porch and into the house, slamming the door behind him. As Brick tried to catch his breath, Gina went to the window to see the commotion. From outside, they could hear the animal let out a hunter's howl. This was followed by the piercing cries of the goats. Whatever was out there was killing them. Brick grabbed his shotgun and put his hand on the doorknob, but Gina stood in front of him and ominously said, you need to let it finish. Brick froze. He was confused. Once the scream stopped, Brick and a ranch hand went out to inspect. The lights of their tractors revealed the carnage. Each goat had its throat ripped out. Each was drained of blood, bone-dry carcasses on the ground. What could have drained them all that quickly? When the mess was cleaned up, only 29 goats were counted. Brick remembered that he'd set aside one of the goats from the herd earlier. Without telling Gina, he'd done it thinking that he would take it as an example to another farm to see if they could trade the whole herd for something more valuable. He checked the back barn and there was Taffy, just where he'd put her, the lone survivor of the herd. But when Brick told Gina about Taffy, instead of relief, Gina was furious. No, there must always be 30 goats in the pen, she yelled. No more, no less. Brick looked confused. Gina took a deep breath and reluctantly told Brick that the large animal he had seen was a creature of legend called a chupacabra or goat sucker. Twice the size of a large dog, it was a furless animal that walked on its hind legs yet ran on all fours. 
Every leap year, or every four years, it would come to the farm for a sacrifice of 30 goats. If it didn't get what it wanted, then it would make the farmers pay. Brick had only started full-time with the farm when he turned 18, two years ago. His head was a whirl as his grandmother kissed Brick on the cheek and squeezed him tightly. Brick went to bed, terrified, tossing and turning as he tried to sleep. He awoke when he heard the downstairs door open. Looking out the window, he saw Gina in her nightgown with a lantern walking toward the barn. She stopped to look back up at the house and then continued on. Brick ran as fast as he could out of the house. When he arrived inside the barn, there it was. A four-foot-tall, hairless beast standing near his grandmother. It was an evil-looking thing. Part hairless dog, part reptile, balancing on its haunches like a kangaroo, but with hooves for feet. And its rat-like fangs were five inches long, dripping with spit. Brick lifted his shotgun and aimed at the creature. Just then, Gina spun around and faced Brick. Run! It refuses to take me. It's here for you, she yelled. Distraught, she began running towards her grandson. In a flash, the chupacabra leapt over her, knocking her to the side, and before Brick could fire a shot, his throat had been ripped open. Blood gushed everywhere as Brick's body jerked and seized. The animal drank the blood from his throat swiftly, and when it was done... The creature laid his body on the ground and looked back at Gina in a way that said, now the matter was settled. Her farm had satisfied its long-standing obligation to the beast. For now, at least. She stared at her grandson's lifeless body with tears running down her face, then woodenly nodded to the monster before it got any other ideas. The chupacabra's satisfied guttural screech split the night air, and then it ran off. The ranch hands, who had been silently waiting in the dark, started to come out of the woods to help with the body. Bury him next to his parents and beside my husband. All those who ended up sacrificing themselves for our land. And then, her voice cracked, then strengthened. We must prepare better for next time. Get me more goats. You know, it's funny. Of all the things I've been missing over the past year, it's the little things I miss the most. Like making eye contact across the room or connecting with strangers in line. That's what I'm trying to get back to. Vaccination is the most effective way to help prevent COVID-19 and get back to the good times. Find out where to get your COVID-19 vaccine near you at vaccines.gov. That's V-A-C-C-I-N-E-S dot gov. Murder. Secrets to be uncovered, mysterious objects to be found. I could be talking about our show, Something Scary, but I'm actually talking about the hidden object murder mystery game from Wooga, June's Journey. Set in the 1920s, it's a vintage licious adventure. A free-to-download mobile game where you play as June, an amateur detective investigating the murder of her sister. I really enjoy June's journey. It scratches my true crime itch as I search for clues while unveiling the murder mystery. Plus, I'm a big fan of hidden object games. It's easy to replay levels for points, and I get a kick out of finding all the objects even quicker the second time around. Join over 30 million fans across the globe and awaken your inner detective with June's journey. Search for hidden objects and collect clues to solve the mystery. Endless hours of fun with thousands of intricate scenes and new chapters every week. Download June's Journey for free by clicking the link below in the description. June's Journey is available on Android and iOS mobile devices, as well as on PC through Facebook games. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary@snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, my dark darlings. Sweet dreams.